Hi, I'm Juan from QUV, and today I wanted to show you some UVC safety basics. These don't apply to UVA or UVB, just UVC. So it's important to be aware that um, what different materials UVC can actually pass through and which ones, it, you know, it can be reflected in. Uh, that way you can protect yourself. And if you skip to the end of this video or if you don't want to listen to it, just err on the side of caution, protect your eyes, protect your skin. When in doubt, cover too much, even if you think you look ridiculous. So let's get started. This is a UVC meter. I've set up the other camera so you can see how much UVC is hitting it, right? It's, it's pretty, pretty sensitive. So I'm gonna turn on this light. It's the 18 watt system. And even right here, it's, it's reading something, right? So probably right now it's reflecting on me. I, sh I should be wearing some protection, right? So a little bit of do, do what I say, not what I do, but this is just for a quick video. Let's see what it'll hit right up close and personal or at 20 milliwatts per centimeter squared. I mean, with that, even three seconds, you're hitting 20 millijoules, sorry, you're hitting 60 millijoules per centimeter squared, which is the recommended amount in that Nebraska, University of Nebraska paper to reuse masks, right? So this is a ton of UVC, and just like it's useful and you can sterilize your groceries and your shoes and all these things, you wanna be mindful and protect yourself so you don't you know, get a skin burn or hurt your eyes. So let's go over some basic safety equipment that you can get not just on our site, but around, things you can find around the home. I promise we, we don't need more uh, more purchases, we just need to fulfill the ones we have. So, let's start with these glasses we throw in with every purchase. Uh, there's different colors, they're they're okay, they're not the fanciest things, but if I cut, cover the eye of the, of the meter and I hit the light right up close, it's nothing, right? So it's not blocking the visible light, but it's blocking 100% of the UVC light. So always wear them, no matter what. Oh, they're uncomfortable, doesn't matter, wear them, all right? Now, the problem with this is it blocks your eyes, but nothing else. And as, as I told you, right now, I'm probably getting some reflected UVC, very unhealthy. Now, when I wear this, I don't have to worry about that. It blocks the eyes and the face. These are a little bit more expensive, which is annoying. We're working on a, on a more affordable option. Just to test it out, huge amounts, I slide this in, Zero. Zero, 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 zero. Now, sorry, somebody tried to come in. Uh, so that that's on the on the face side. Now let's try these gloves. These are deer skin. You should always wear gloves when using UVC equipment so you don't burn your hands. You don't have to buy our gloves. You can buy any thick or leather gloves, just anything you have around the house. Old driving gloves or that one Halloween party, whatever. 100% of it, all right? Now, for protecting your body and not showing skin, it's uh, layers are the key, right? So I'm gonna go over a few different things you may have at the house and show that there's always a bit of trans, like a bit of transmission with with clothing. So it's always better to, to err on the side of caution and uh, and wear layers, right? So this is one layer of a random T-shirt, um, you know, commercially available. There's still some transmission. Now it's blocking the vast majority of it, you see? But there's still some transmission. I'd rather be hit by zero UVC than by some. So if I were to be wearing this twice, inside that's once, and not the most, not the least awkward thing, that's two layers. Yeah, that's two layers. And now I put it right up to it, and you're good to go. Two layers of a cheap shirt. So let's compare those two layers of a cheap shirt versus a $60 shop coat. This is 65% uh, polyester, 35% cotton. We sell these, so I'm not trying to badmouth them. They're great, but there sometimes can be some transmission because it's just a single layer. See, there's still a little bit of transition, less than with the t-shirt, but you wanna try to get as close to zero, to zero as possible. So layers are the operative word. Now. Quick thing, something that everybody has at the home, you can use to protect yourself, towels. If you don't have a towel at home, then uh, you're probably not buying a UVC sterilizer online. But one layer of the towel and you're good to go. Towels are wonderful things. As long as they're, you know, relatively thick. This was just in the shop, so don't judge me that it's dirty or weird. Throw that away, be aware. These are pretty good at blocking uh, UVC lights, surprisingly, but not entirely. So it, they can be good if you're putting your groceries or your shoes or whatever in these bags. Uh, there is some transmission, so it can be a, a very useful thing. We're not getting the same high numbers, but it's blocking about half of it, give or take. 
So uh, they are useful for, for groceries and, and, and different uh, things you may want to sterilize. So if you say, okay, I have a clean Ziploc bag. I, it needs to go in the house. I live in an apartment. Uh, whatever I have that's outside, okay, put your mail in the Ziploc bag. You take it inside. You can sterilize it from the inside. Um, so this is pretty pretty useful. Now, about reflectivity, again, always protect um, your face and skin. I should be protecting more, but I just want to get this video done. I apologize for being somewhat of a hypocrite in that regard. But if you're doing your groceries and you're doing them over even something like this, which is black rubber, there is going to be some reflection, as you can see. It's not that much, you know, compared to being hit directly, but there is some reflection. Even up to a foot or so, it's noticeable, right? So be wary of that. When you're talking about wood or this fake wood formica, it's a little bit more, right? If you're talking about stainless steel, uh, it's a ton. If you're doing your appliances, I mean, protect yourself entirely. It's, it's quite a bit. Sorry, because it's a small piece of stainless steel. Um, but that also brings me to making your own chambers. Some people are making their own chambers for their groceries and their mail. That's an amazing idea. Uh, use mirrors, use the most reflective things you can. Um, this is highly reflective um, piece of aluminum, but readily available in different places. Let me fix this so you can see. And it reflects a ton of it, right? So if you use mirrors all over, you should be good to go. Let's see what other questions you may have. I think that is about all I had to show. I apologize that it's a little bit messy. I just wanted to get people the information they might need. So in conclusion, err on the side of caution. Always protect your eyes no matter what. When you can, also protect your face and skin if there's any doubt that there's going to be any reflection. It's a little bit goofy, but uh, layers do the trick. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or concerns or we can help you in any way, please let us know. We would love to try to help out. Stay safe.